Dinitrogen monoxide can be used to increase power in racing cars. Dinitrogen monoxide decomposes to form nitrogen and oxygen. Calculate the mass of oxygen produced in grams when 22 grams of dinitrogen monoxide decomposes. So this is a question taken straight out of the past paper. It's a credit past paper from 2009. So these are the kind of questions that you could be asked in a National 5 exam. So what I've done is I've copied that balanced equation on the board. They've already balanced the equation for you. So what is the question asking? It's asking you to calculate the mass of oxygen produced in grams when 22 grams of dinitrogen monoxide decomposes. So what does decomposes mean? Think of a body. If a body decomposes, it means it breaks down. So we're talking about dinitrogen monoxide and we're talking about oxygen. Nitrogen isn't mentioned in the question. You're given no information about nitrogen, so you don't need to concern yourself with nitrogen. Okay, so what is the mole ratio of dinitrogen monoxide to oxygen? Well, there's a 2 in front of dinitrogen monoxide, so it's 2. Nitrogen, we just forget, there's nothing in front of oxygen, so it means it's just 1. So we have a 2 to 1 ratio. First step. Second step is we're going to work out the number of moles we have of dinitrogen monoxide. So, number of moles, mass, and GFM. GFM being the gram formula mass, the total mass of all the atoms present in the compound. Mass, so, let's take stock of the atoms. We have two nitrogen atoms and one oxygen. Two nitrogen is two times 14 grams, which gives you 28 grams. 1 times 16 is the mass of oxygen, which gives you 16 grams. So 28 plus 16 gives you 44 grams. So we've worked out the gram formula mass of dinitrogen monoxide to be 44 grams. Now, the mass, if we look back at the question, the mass, it tells us, is 22 grams. So mass, so put the gram formula mass into 44 grams, mass, 22 grams. Okay, now how do we work out the number of moles? We use that triangle. So what's the top of the triangle? Top of the triangle we have mass. Bottom of the triangle, on the left hand side, we have moles. And on the right hand side, we have gram formula mass, or GFM. So to work out the number of moles, we look at mass divided by gram formula mass. Do we have the mass? Yes. Do we have the gram formula mass? Yes. So what we do is 22 grams divided by 44 grams gives you 0 0.5 moles. So we have 22 grams of dinitrogen monoxide, which equates to 0 0.5 moles. So let's draw a dotted line down to separate. Now, the 2 to 1 ratio, which means find how many moles of oxygen we have. We'll have to divide 2.5 moles by 2 and multiply it by 1. Because we divide it by 2 and multiply it by 1, which gives us 0 0.25 moles. So n is 0 0.25. What the question is asking is calculate the mass of oxygen produced. So we know now 0 0.25 moles is produced. But what does that equate to in grams? Well, to find that out, we need to go like the refer back to our triangle. So to find out the mass now, we need to have moles and we need to have gram formula mass. We've got them both. What do we do? Well, we multiply them together. So GFM, gram formula mass of oxygen, is just 2 times oxygen, which is 2 times 16. 32 grams. Why do you do 2 times 16? Because it dies on 32 grams. So then with mass, therefore, it's moles times gram for the mass. So that's 32 grams times 0 0.25 moles, which gives us a total mass of grams. So let's look at the steps we've done there. Step one, 
find the ratio. Step two, find the gram foil mass. Step three, work out the number of moles. Step four, work out the mole ratio. So we started off with 0 0.5 moles, but we've got a 2 to 1 ratio. So we've only got 0 0.25 moles of oxygen. And the final step, well, let's say, let's add another step in here. Gram foil mass of oxygen, even though you may be working that out in your head, it's good to make it explicit, it's good to make it clear. And step six, final mass. Okay, and that's using a balanced equation to find out the mass and the moles of uh, something being produced when something else decomposes.